Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Cindy. This is Bringer of Light Intuitive. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Today is June 11th. Whenever you are seeing this reading though, it is for you. If it resonates for you, take what resonates and leave anything that doesn't. Um, <clears throat> Capricorn, if you're seeing this, no. No matter when you see this, it is timeless. So it's for you. If it resonates for you, it's for you. I have been feeling the, the last few days where I am, it's June 11th. So when what I have been feeling for the last few days is an energy of change for my collective, my community, which you're watching this reading, you're now part of my community. Thank you so much for being here. So if you're seeing this reading at a later date though that's okay the next week whenever you're seeing this it was brought to you for a reason so with that being said let's see what spirit has for you because I've been feeling this energy of change for my community watch your other placements okay so you can get a full picture of what spirit has for you in this next week but I've been feeling a change and I've been feeling messages for my people so let's Let's see what the message is. We have judgment, strength. What, is, what does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Good night. We have all destiny cards here. It's a very important week for you, Capricorn. This is a very, very important week for you. There's some sort of truth that's coming out this week. Some sort of truth. And you may not see it coming because you may be focused on other things here with the seven of cups you may be focused on other things let me sit with these for a second we've got some major players here okay so we have judgment strength the death card the empress this is all part of a very divine plan for you everything that you've been going through everything that you had to let go of with this death card you heard the call you had some sort of change and like i was saying in the beginning i feel like my community the people that i interact with my private clients the people that are in my community have been sitting on dreams have been sitting on we've been waiting you know things have been waiting people have wow so you might be waiting for some kind of communication <laughs> or there's some sort of break down in a communication here because I'm breaking down. All right, Capricorn, there's some kind of change that needed to happen, but there was some sort of death that needed to happen in order to bring this change in. So you heard the call though. This was a call of the divine calling your heart and your heart was telling you, I need a change. There's something that needs to change here. There's some sort of letting go that needs to take place here. You know, there's this very scary thing here. <laughs> Had to cut out what was not serving you. Your heart was telling you there is a situation, a person, place, a thing, a thinking pattern, behavior patterns, whatever it was that needed to change in order to walk into a better season of your life and allow better to come into your life. You had to cut something out. You answered that call. You were ready for that change. Death had to come in either with or without you and cut out some things out of your life that were not serving you. They were not putting you in your self-worth and your confidence. And the whole point of this change was to bring you back into your self-worth and your confidence, following your most true self, what your heart was saying for you and the truth of what you really, really want. You answered this call. You're watching this reading because you answered this call. It was all for the purpose of you seeing what was on the inside and really embracing that most authentic part of you, that most abundant part of you, and really realizing your worth and your value and your truth. Because there's some truth in the strength card that is you discovering your truth and having the confidence and the courage to step into it and really embrace it. 
And that could have been some truth that needed to be spoken. That could be truth that your heart was speaking to you and you just needing to step out into it, really calling back your power, taking your power back, taking your confidence back, taking your courage back, whatever it is for you, because we're all different, but we have the energy of the Empress here. And this is you being in your power. This is you being your most authentic self. And it's all about self-worth. Coming into a place of self-worth. Maybe you were dealing with something in the past that, or maybe a cycle of things in the past that, that didn't line up with your truth. And it made, your, it made you doubt yourself. Or it made you think that you weren't worthy. There's something tied to your self-worth here with this abundance in the Empress energy. She's the energy of abundance. But you needed to learn what your truth was and how valuable you really are. And step into your power and your confidence and build that self-worth. And let go of anything with this death card, which could have happened with or without you. You might have been in control or maybe the universe had to come in and cut out something that was needing to change. But you were really ready for it. And that something, it cut down on your self-worth. It cut down on your worthiness, your deserving, your enoughness. You were questioning all of that. But your heart was telling you, no, 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 no. This is what I really want and this is what I really deserve. And you had to come into that kind of power. And it might have been taking you for a while did that come out right? It might have taken you a while to discover your truth, to discover your worth, to discover your value. I'm getting the chills now, Capricorn. I'm getting the chills. You're in this Empress energy. You're ready for this new beginning. The Empress is new beginnings. She's pregnant with new possibilities, new possibilities for you. I feel like for most of you, this might not resonate for everybody, but for the one I'm talking to, you might have had to cut out everything. Or the universe maybe wiped out everything that you knew in your like was a comfort zone in your life. And you're literally starting from scratch. And you might have had to let go of people, places things that were a comfort zone for you and that could include friends, family, loved ones and it might have been really hard and you had to find strength and courage and I'm getting chills Capricorn you might have had to find your strength and your courage to be who you are and it might have hurt you so bad to close those cycles and let go of whatever you had to let go of. But you're coming out as the Empress. It's like the caterpillar that goes into the cocoon. It has to die a death in that cocoon by itself. And then it comes out the butterfly a beautiful, beautiful, colorful butterfly that soars across the sky and doesn't hang out with the same people that it hung out with when it was a caterpillar. It's now a butterfly. Look at all the colors on here. You had to have courage to do that. You had to have strength to do that. You had to be divinely guided to do that because you might not have done that on your own. And now you have new possibilities new beginnings, new abundance. The world is your oyster. You know your worth, you know your value, and you're ready for this. You took your power back. You found your power. I feel like I'm talking to a Capricorn who found their power. And now we've got some truth that is coming in. Okay? Some truth that's coming in could be a person that's coming in that's going to tell you some kind of truth they've been through some sort of a transformation as well this could be a you know whatever it is that you 
have been praying for manifesting could be represented in this card. He's holding that Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough. This is communication. This is inspiration. This is guidance and clarity and hope. This is something new in the form of a person. So this person may be offering you a job, may be offering you a new life somewhere else, may be offering you communication, could be love. And I feel like you're not going to see it coming because you're focused on all kinds of stuff. <laughs> You're focused on all these things because you might have literally had to start your life over in a new direction. So you might have a lot on your plate right now. So let's get some more cards and see what this is. What is this King of Swords? What's coming in for my Capricorn? Yeah, you're being seen. You're being noticed. You're being promoted here. You're being chosen. You are on fire here. You're in the spotlight. So you're magnetic as that empress. You're looking good. You're smelling good. You are attracting everything that you could want. So you're attracting a whole slew of things here that are going to feel good to you. So this is like you're, I feel like Capricorn, you're starting your life over again. So this could literally mean everything in your life is starting all over again. Because we have this energy of all these different emotional experiences don't limit the universe to think about one thing making you happy because you're being seen you're being heard you're being chosen you're being attractive and magnetic to abundance in all areas of your life so don't limit yourself don't limit yourself and i have justice here so you're receiving back justice for all the injustice of the past this is also a sort of truth You've got two of them now. There's some sort of truth here that's going to come out that is that is making you shine, that is getting you promoted, that is making your business succeed, that is getting you a, um, you know, a new job that's better income. You've got all this better coming for you, Capricorn. I don't want to limit it to just love or just money because I feel like the the Empress says you're it's unlimited. The potential here is unlimited. So I feel like it's the whole span of your life. Everything is changing for you. You're getting back everything that you deserve. You were cut, you, you were cut a, a rough one. Okay, and literally spirit had to come in and wipe the slate clean, cut out everything from your life. It just was not treating you well. It was not good for you. You had to come into your you had to learn who you really are. You had to learn your truth, your value. Your, you had to learn who you are and what you want. You maybe didn't even know that <laughs> before. And I don't mean to laugh. I'm just saying it's not funny, but I'm just keeping it light. So you have balance here. You have your justice coming for all the injustice of your past. So I'm saying don't limit spirit because your whole life is about to change. The whole spectrum of emotion is about to change. This is everything in your life. So you claim it. What, it is, what is it that you want? But don't limit yourself because this is unlimited here. We have unlimited possibilities. We have unlimited success. We have you winning awards. We have you being on stage. We have your life literally taking off in a new direction. You are getting noticed. You're getting promoted. You are on stage. Some of you may be literally on stage and finally getting the success and recognition that you've always wanted. Maybe you're not on stage. Maybe you're on social media. Maybe you're an influencer. You're finally, things are finally taking off for you. Literally, you have offers coming in. You have promotions coming in. You've got endorsements coming in. You've got everything that you could have ever dreamed is going to start coming in here because of everything that you've been through. You're getting your justice. And it's all starting with some sort of truth some sort of inspiration, some sort of new beginning. 
but I feel like it's coming in the form of communication. Could be a message, could be an email, could be somebody actually speaking some truth to you. Could be divine in your own self. Divine truth that you speak and suddenly a decision you make or something. But it could be also a person coming in. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Maybe Libra. Doesn't have to be. We've got everybody here. Let's get you some advice. I cannot wait to hear about this Capricorn. I cannot wait to hear about this. Please, please comment below and let me know what this is. But you're literally going to start seeing changes in all areas of your life. Literally. Yeah, a brand new beginning. You might need to take a leap of faith. It may feel like a leap of faith after what you've been through because you literally have to start from scratch. So it's it's like taking a leap of faith. We have continued. Do not give up on yourself. Do not give up. You are right there. You are about to see things blow up in a good way. Make, move your body, Capricorn. Move your body. This moves the energy. Move your body. Get out and take a walk. Walk in the grass with bare feet. Just do some movement. Maybe you like to exercise, and this is a confirmation for some of you who are working out that you're on the right path. And black out the media. Black out opinions of others. Black out any negativity. Really protect your energy right now because things are absolutely about to take off for you. And you are going to be so grateful for everything that's coming in. But also take where you're at right now and focus on the things that are going right and really focus on them because they grow and they manifest into more things to be grateful for. So everything that's going right are blessings that you should be grateful for right where you're at. Gosh, Capricorn, I cannot wait for your success. Please let me know what that looks like for you. Comment below, send me a message, whatever. I want to hear about it. So I am excited for you. Get excited and watch your other placements. And I'll see you in the next reading.